All right. Hey, everybody. It's Christina Rivoli, and this is your level two Zoom chat. Thank you for being on. And if you're watching the recording, thank you for taking the time to review the recording and be with us there. Okay, so this is our first call of the new month, April. And we're just going to be going all over what week one homework was. And yeah, and then afterwards, after I finish the agenda, we'll go over some Q&A. Okay, so um, first on the agenda is running a challenge group. And there are different ways to run a challenge group. First of all, you should be, since you're a level two coach, you should already be um, thinking about or if not have already ran your five-day clean eating challenge. I like to run five-day clean eating challenges at least once a month. So get in the habit, start marking it on your calendars and figure out when, what part of the month is best for you to run your five-day clean eating challenge. Um, you want to pre- predetermine these. So like if you open up for next month for May, already start planning Mays. If you haven't done April's yet, of course, start with April's, but then do May, June, you know, go through the summer and just plan out your year basically of when you will do be doing your clean eating challenges. So that way you're, you're mentally prepared and ready and you already have a clear map for yourself. Um, next, after the five day clean eating challenge, there's docs that you can follow for the five-day clean eating challenge. There's plenty in the Legacy Elite docs. There's a few links in the file section of our level two group on how to run five-day clean eating challenges. So lots of resources for you to use. Of course, you can alter and make it your own and um, just really, you know, just figure out what works for you and what doesn't. And it's, it's, it's probably going to feel weird in the beginning. It's going to be intimidating. Don't worry. That will pass as long as you keep doing it. Um, if you haven't run your first five-day clean eating challenge, then now is the time to determine when you will be doing that for this month. If you have any questions, then we can talk about it later on after um, I, go, I finish here. Or if, like, say something comes up later on during the week or next week, message us or post in the group and we can help you sort everything out through that. So there's also get into the, the idea of you running your own challenge group. And when I say challenge group, you're most likely participating in a challenge group yourself right now as a challenger with your, your coach that brought you on um, with a program and Shakeology and there's probably daily posts going on, some assignments. So I personally have two docs that I share with my coaches on daily posts that you can use in your challenge groups. So how do you form a challenge group? Well, since you will be hitting Success Club 5 this month, um, basically you're going to be bringing on three new people with challenge packs of your own. And that's plenty. That's plenty to start a new challenge group of your own, or you can also co-host it with another coach. If you don't feel comfortable and you, you, and you just feel like it's too brand new because you're just barely starting out, this is your first month as a coach, then if whatever challengers you bring on, you can just plug them into the challenge group that you currently are in with your new coach or if, you're, if your coach your sponsoring coach um, is starting a new one, then you'll just plug them into there. So don't ever feel like you're doing this alone. You're not. We're always here to support you and to guide you through the process. But eventually, the goal is for you to be running your own challenge groups your own, with your own customers, with your own coaches. So just get that thought in your head right now. So that way you're prepared and you can start gathering ideas on how you want to run your own group. When I first started, my challenge group that I was in as a challenger with my coach was completely different from what I do now with my challengers, completely different. And that's just because I'm a different person from my coach. 
you know, we have different personalities, we have different tastes, and that's okay. You know, the beauty of this business is you customize it to your own liking. There is no cookie cutter for formula, which I love because you can be unique in any way, in any which way you want. So that's enough about challenge groups. So we have an upcoming business opportunity webinar. Um, mark this down, April 22nd at 12 p.m. That, that's tentative, the time is tentative. Um, and it's gonna be an opportunity, coaching opportunity webinar run by me midday, 12 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're on the East Coast, there'll be 3 p.m. Um, your time. If you're, I know Stephanie is, is in Texas, that, that is 2 p.m. Texas time. So it's April 22nd, 12 p.m. my time. And then there's a second one that day, and I'll be hosting the Empire webinar. Okay, so for those of you that don't know how Legacy Elite is branched off, so I have my own personally sponsored coach team. It's Team Life with a Purpose. Um, Lisa has her own personally sponsored coaches, coach team. I don't know what the name is, but I'm sure it's named something pretty cool. <laughs> and then we are part of Legacy Elite, our Legacy Elite family. So that's where my coach is. That's where um, you'll see Jazz Ornelas, which is another awesome star diamond coach. Um, lots of diamond coaches there in that group. It's just a bigger group bigger coaching group. And then we have a bigger umbrella coaching group, which is the Empire Assembly Hall. And the leader of that coaching group, her name is Barbie Decker. So if you want to do a quick search on Facebook, search Barbie Decker, B-A-R-B-I-E-D-E-C-K-E-R. She is our upline rock star, superstar coach, um, basically started it all. She, I think she joined back in 2006 when the company was like a baby. Um, yeah, she's a, our multimillionaire, amazing person, so kind-hearted. Um, if you follow her on Facebook, go to her like page. She's just unbelievable. You can see all her pictures, and she is also um, engaged to Sagi, who is the creator of Body Beast. So just a quick little, little cool little fact of our rock star coach. Um, so yes, I'll be hosting the Empire webinar that day too at 5 p.m. Pacific time, so 8 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Central time. So those two dates. So the so people that you are talking to right now with, um, in regards to challenge groups and maybe you might get some people that are interested in what you're doing as a coach and maybe they want might want to start be doing coaching as well. Those live coaching webinars are an amazing resource for you to give them the link to for, so they can log in live and listen to one of the leaders talk about being a beach body coach and what the benefits are, what it costs, and you know just what we're all about, what our team's all about. So next, um, there was an assignment last week that you had to come up with a list of people. Um, I think it was tw at least 20 people. I know I, I got Stephanie's list from last month. I don't know if, if you have, you should have like already started adding to that list because it's a new month. And we're, our goal is for power of three. So we'll be talking to five, or no, sorry, three new people a day, saying hello to three new people a day, catching up with old friends, um, just simple, easy conversation stuff, nothing fitness related, nothing beach body related, just building a relationship. That's your goal for the hellos. Um, and then eventually, like, they'll see what you're posting about. They might ask you a question like, hey, what's this shake drink you're drinking, you're, you're taking? Or what's these workouts, this fix workout? You know, people have their own idea. And that's a perfect opportunity for you to start sharing about what you're doing and then following the script. That's when the script plays in. So when people start asking you, when you're in these simple conversations, what you're doing, that's ex those are the opportunities when you plug in the script and you start asking the questions that are in the scripts. Okay? And let me see, go back to that doc.
Okay, so once you have this list of people, hi, baby. <laughs> once you have your list of people going and you're doing your power of threes, um, okay, my son. Well, okay, so once, <laughs> sorry, see, I get distracted so easily. <laughs> um, once you have your list of people and just friends, old people, old, like old coworkers, um, people you went to school with, they don't necessarily have to be involved or show interest in health and fitness right now. It's just, you know, you just want to start making a list of people, a list, list of resources, who you can start conversations with and who you can start building relationship with just so you can work on forming skills. So if you don't know what form is, form is an acronym. It's, it stands for family, occupation, recreation, and then M is for a message that you want to be sending across. So for instance, when I was at the grocery market a couple of days ago, I was talking to the grocery clerk. You know, I was checking out. Thank you. I was checking out and um, I commented on her. I, you know, I, I commented on her, her, her makeup because it was like gorgeous. She had, did her eyes gorgeous. And I was like asking her like what, how she learned how to do that. And, um, you know, just showing interest in people. And that's kind of something you can do in person. If you're old friends with people, it's just catching up with them, like asking about how they've been, how their family's been, um, what they've been up to, how their what what their kids are up to. So it's it's just it's a guide to help you talk to people and just get out of your comfort zone and start asking questions. Um, so that's what form stands for. If you don't know this, I follow Danny Johnson um, and her training material a lot, and that's just because that's what I've been taught. There's also there's a lot of trainers, but I found that I connect most with Danny Johnson and her the way she teaches, and it's it's easy for me to follow. So, if you're not involved with the 30 day boot camp or you haven't went through the free 30 day boot camp with Danny Johnson, then I suggest that you um, sign up for it. It's free. You just have to go to smarternetworker.com. You'll put in your email address and sign up for the free 30-day 30 30 boot camp. Every day for 30 days, they send you an email, and you get um, an MP3 to listen to. And that will count as your personal development for the day. It's an amazing resource. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn about what I'm talking about forming, how to use it, how to apply it and how it relates to building a business, okay? <laughs> okay, so now let's open it up to some q and I'll unmute you guys. No. Do any, do each, any of you have any questions that we can tackle? I'm glad you guys are on. <laughs> But I want to hug. Any any questions at all? How's your week been? It just started, so it's going good. Okay. Oh, that's true. It's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Okay. Anna, Eve, any questions so far? I know you're brand new, and you're just yeah. you're just getting your feet wet. I'm just taking it all in, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I gave a lot of tips on how to get started and where to get started. So if you, you sign up for the 30-day boot camp first and then just plug in, because that will, that will take care of your personal development for the day. Um, and then you just plug into our Facebook group, our Level 2 Facebook group, and there we'll have daily assignments for you to do. Um, start writing down a list of people who eat. and like Stephanie did this last month because she started last month with me. Yeah. Um, you just write down a list of people. Doesn't matter. I don't care who they are, how you know them. Just start making a list of 20 people and email it to me. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And, and then I can work on it from there. So Stephanie, um, I know you had mentioned that you had fallen off a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So are you jumping back in and starting with the P3s again? The power of three? Yes. Yes. Um, I actually got in con or I messaged three girls today um, that were, that seemed interested before. And two of them talked back to me. They're not ready financially quite yet, but I'm going to keep on talking to them because they're both really excited. They both really want to get into it. They just got to get their finances straightened out probably by the end of the month or the beginning of next. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed with those two. That's awesome. <clears throat> I was, it was pretty fun. Well, it's not funny, but eye opening. Um, cause how I shared that I'm doing this pretty intense prospecting and closing class with Danny Johnson. Okay, honey. It's okay. And it's okay. And Aiden, stop. <laughs> Five-year-olds. <laughs> um, and she had, okay, so she, she's on live calls with us. And she had, one of the girls, you know, had, had said that she was having trouble closing people. But, at, but in reality, she's not having trouble closing people. It's just going to take some time. She's planting seeds on getting people started. It's just going to take a little time for them to, to get the money together to, to find the package or to afford the package. So she's not part of our Beachbody company, this, this other girl. Side note. But Danny just told, like, blatantly told her, like, you're killing your sprout. Like, if you put yourself down and you see that as a failure, you're killing that sprout, you know? And you're not allowing that sprout to grow and blossom. And if you already have that mindset as, man, I suck already as a coach because these people don't want to join me right now. No, right now is not, it's not time for them. You know, it might be time for them next month. It might be time for them two months from now. It might be time for them a year from now. And that's why you have to be consistent in doing the daily activities, talking to new people, saying hello to new people, um, starting new conversations, just building relationships because eventually those relationships are going to sprout and build. And that's how you build a strong following and a strong customer base. And um, you build strong relationships because you as a person is, they value you as your, your high character. So the important part is when you have those people that are, are not right nows, you follow up with them. You know, you just, you just continue having conversations with them, seeing how you can help them and give them tips now that can help them now. And so when they're ready for a ch to join the challenge group, they know exactly where to go. They're going to come to you because you've already built that relationship with them. And you haven't just pushed them aside because they're not ready. You know, you're, you, you value them as a person, not for their money. So, yeah, I'm proud of you, Steph. Thank you. <laughs> and I love, I love, like, it, it's really, I love how easy it actually is because, you know, you, you get on and you say, okay, I haven't talked to this person in forever, but I'm just going to get on and say hi. Yeah. And, and you say hi, and within two or three messages back and forth, they say, hey, I see you drinking this Shakeology stuff, and it just happens like that. Yeah, it's and like a natural thing. It's Yes. And so that's how I've gotten these people. They just, they're just like, Hey, I saw that you're doing this. I'm glad that you messaged me because I've been wanting to do something like that. Tell me more. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Keep, that's why it's so important to keep sharing your, your journey on your Facebook page. And if, okay. So if you're, if you're on your personal page, if your posts aren't public, so let me, let me screen share really quick. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to Facebook. Close this. Okay, so you see how this person, Jules, 
right here where this this little people person is like there's two people like standing next to like little people icon yeah. yeah those are those are posts that are only shared with her friends so if you go to another person see here this person only shares posts with her friends this person only shares posts with their friends okay um, but if you go to this person you see the world this is a public post so he's one of my good friends from college um, so when I like this post it's gonna it's gonna most likely show up on my friends list because it's it's a public post so you want to make sure your posts are public so if I go to my page you'll see all my posts are public and I do that for a reason. Well, that's not my post, but see, my post is public. And you can change these in your settings, it's public. And because when, when your friends will like your post, it's gonna pop up on their friends' newsfeed. And then what if, if something catches their attention, it's gonna come back to you and they're gonna click on your name and see what you're about. That's why it's important to share, to make sure your posts are public. I mean, if you want to, if you want to keep certain things private for friends only, then that's perfectly fine. I have coaches that, um, like keep certain photo albums cause like their kids are in it or they want to keep certain stuff private. They can keep their photo, those photo albums private and that's fine. Um, you can do that. You can customize that in the settings option. So how you do that is you, I think it's over here. I haven't done it in a while because I, I just put my stuff, everything I share is public anyways. Right here, settings. Can, do you see it? Yeah. So if you click on this, if you highlight this little arrow, this drop down comes down and you'll just click settings. And here, that's where you can go to privacy or secure, one of those. Just mess around with it, look through it. And... Um, <laughs> You can figure it out. It's pretty easy to figure out. I haven't done it in a while. It's been, my posts have been public since 2012. So you, if you can, you can go onto my profile and search things back when I was like a baby coach. <laughs> you know, you'll see, you'll see like what I posted in the beginning and you'll see how it's, how it's transformed and changed. Okay, let me stop share. I have a question. Yeah. Does it have to be the personal page or can you, since we created the pages, can we use that to post things as opposed yeah. to having to monitor the personal page? Yeah. So if you have a like page, the only thing with like pages, you're going to go through a transition where it's going to take some time to build up, build up interaction there. Okay. I get so what you're saying. You yes. reach more people with your personal page because you already have a friend. Yeah. List. Okay. You already have like people already, you know, liking your posts. And it just, when you first start a like page, it, it takes time to build that interaction. So that's why if, you'll want to like do both at the same time. Yeah. I post, I post stuff on my like page and then I, I share it on my personal page. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. What I did was I it gave you the option to invite all your friends and I went through my whole entire list and I invited everybody. <laughs> I started getting messages from people. And I'm like, don't message me here. This is personal stuff. But it, I mean, whatever <laughs> works, right? I, I still get, you know, cause I, cause I share stuff on my personal page. Now, most of my health and fitness stuff is on my, my, my like page, but I still share some stuff on my personal page because I do have followers there that have friend requested me um, because I'm part of other groups, like other mom groups in my air, from my area, um, just other interest groups. So I still have like people in my pipeline from my personal page that I'll like share back and forth or, you know, post certain stuff on my profile page and then the stuff, stuff on my, my public page, you know, my, business page, all these terms. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's just going to take some time to build up that interaction. Yeah. Good? Yes. 
All right, girls, thanks for logging on. And um, if any questions come up during the week, post in the group and we will be checking in. All right, thanks. Okay. Enjoy your trip. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.